Let's set up the LF505. Now I've downloaded the GeekSmart app. I'm gonna open it up and I am going to add the Smart Lock LF500 by pressing the Add Smart Lock button up here, the little plus sign. There we go. So we are now in the Add Device menu. So we choose to add a Smart Lock. And we choose our particular lock, the LF505. All right, now the app will guide us through the process of adding a new lock to our app. We need to swipe here and press next. Now we find our particular lock up here. We press it. And it's that easy to add an administrator and get started. After setting up an administrator for the LF505 Smart Lock, we find ourselves in the in this app interface. Here you have a couple of options and you can choose to lock and unlock the lock by pressing the big button up here. I am going to try and lock the door by long pressing the button. Alright, the door is locked. I can unlock the door again by pressing the button. There we go. I can also do a couple of other things. I can add and manage fingerprints. To do so, we press the fingerprint management button right here. There we go. Now, prior to this, no fingerprint has been added, so I'm going to add my fingerprint. I press the little plus up there and I press add fingerprint. There we go. Now, here I can choose to give my fingerprint a name and I can choose to make it permanent. So I'm going to give it the name Emil. I'm going to press next. Now I'm asked to send to send my fingerprint and scan them. There we go. Please press again. One more time. Please press again. One more time. Please press again. One more time. Successful. And there we go. Let's try and unlock our door with a fingerprint. Locked. There we go. Now from the app interface, we can also choose to manage IC cards. We press the IC card management. There we go. So, no IC cards have been added, so we'll add our own IC card. We press up here, the three dots up there, and we press add IC card. Here, we can give our IC card a name. How about front door? Now we press next. Please swipe your card. We're now asked to swipe our card. Input successful. And input successful. Now we can unlock or lock with an IC card. Locked. Give it a try. Unlocked. Very good. From the app interface, we can also manage passwords. I press the password management button right there. From here, I have the option to add a new password. I press the add password button up there in the right corner. Add password. Here, I have a couple of options. I can choose to set a permanent password a limited time password, a once one time use password, and a custom password. Now I choose custom password because I want to choose the, my own sequence of numbers. Press custom up here. There we go. And as you can see, 
I have a couple of options here. I'm going to press slide the permanent button here. Now I'm going to give my password a name. I'm going to give it the name Thomas. For my friend Thomas. Three, 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 three. That's four threes. I'm going to press done. And then I'm going to press create and send to send it to Thomas. I type in Thomas's email right here and press send. Right, now Thomas has the opportunity, possibility, to unlock this lock with the password 3333 three, 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 three. and press here. You can also choose to use a good old key. The keyhole for the LF500 5 is hidden right here in the center. So we've included a little pin on the keychain. And you can pop open this keyhole cover, just like so. In here, the keyhole takes a key. There we go. And you can choose to lock and unlock. Thank you for watching.